Wala ka na. <laughs> okay. So, ito na. Game number two. Drafting phase. Makikita natin na mayroong malaking adjustments. Dapat ipakita ang Triple Esports. Especially this is their debut series. Gusto nilang makaisang puntos man lang kontra si Yusun. And for si Yusun, they want to continue the momentum to secure a first or second spot for Group A. Alright. Di nila pinabayaan yung... I mean... They're no longer gonna worry about the joy anymore, but that gives a little bit more option for para sa side ng si Yu soon. Because as far as we remembered, ganina it was I believe the Matilda na tinanggal that one time, and they're gonna do that again with Guinevere and Matilda taken out by si Yu soon. I feel like ibibigay na si Yu soon yung Nolan, because this time around, may magkukuha nila unless nagpractice na si Tarzan ng Nolan at hindi niya siya puro utility jungler kasi again with the track record of Triple Esports puro utility rules talaga yung ginagampanan ni Tarzan dito no so it is a gamble however with si Yusun giving out the Nolan pero pwede mo gawin dito kasi tanggalin mo yung tanggalin mo yung phobius para at least pag kumuha yung Triple Esports ng let's say Bruno nasa yo yung Nolan plus one pwede ka mag Nolan Arlot pwede ka mag Nolan Valentina Ah, pwede mo ubusin din ang hero yung support ng Triple Esports. So, it is a very, very good opener for Si Yu Soon. Kasi yung dalawang pick nila dito, super mayu-utilize nila. Just because of the fact na yung hero po ng 3 Esports, it's quite limited to specific roles. Para kay Si Yu Soon nga, they could actually go with an Angela pick for Rai. Kasi kanina it was very effective. Na-minimize yung mga casualties na pwede sana gawin ng Si Yu Soon. Pero ngayon, Edith, ban Triple Esports Midnight. Sino tingin mo? Alam mo na po. Oh! Okay. Ano to, boss? Okay, Nolan. Nag-practice, nag-practice. Nag-practice, nag-practice. Okay, Nolan. So, meron silang Phobius. Meron silang Arlot, actually. Sabi niya, Midnight, watch this. Watch this, watch this. Pwede ka mag- Pwede ka mag- Angela dito. Kay Ra ulit. Angela Bruno, no? Oh, Angela Bruno. Angela. Pwede rin yung Arlot Bruno. Pwede rin actually yung Valentina Bruno. Kasi pag nag-Angela yung Triple Esports, meron ka sarili mong hardcore. Yeah. Hans, ano sabi mo? Hans? Angera, Angera. Ah. I mean, the, the only worry dito para sa side ng Triple Esports is if yung early game damage output ay hindi nila magawa. Kasi ito na naman yun. They're in the same situation again. Meron silang tools to actually handle the early portions ng laro just because they have the Nolan on their side. So, kailangan nilang gamitin yun. They need to stick to their timings. They have to pick a few more heroes that would fall onto the same thing. So, ayan na. Angera is doing it and Arlot. Ang pogi na naman ni Midnight. Kaja, let's go. Kaja ka dita, Triple Esports. Nakatayo na si Midnight ngayon. Kaja ka dita. O kaya, Kaja Bruno. Okay. Bigay mo na yung ka dita kasi may Angela naman eh. So, Kaja Bruno, best pick for Triple Esports. Pag hindi, Well, there are a lot of options. But what do you think? There's a package. That's right. Bruno! 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 Kaja! Boss! Franco! Boss! Kaja! Inuna! Inuna! Can you? There's a lot of people here. Can you? 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 Okay. Can you still go out there? The troll? Kanina nag-Franco siya, sana hindi na umaban yung Kaja na. Pero for si Yu Soon, Midnight, ito. Magka-Kaja si Si Yu Soon eh. Nararamdaman mo ba? Nararamdaman ko eh. Nararamdaman mo ba? Pwedeng kumuha muna ng ibang hero dito si si MP Taking. Mauna na siyang mag-pick ng jungle. Marami pa namang options, like back siya, open pa rin naman. So I think pwede mo i-relegate talaga sa second phase. Pero pwede mo rin naman kunin dito. Pero I really like the idea of having the Kaja here. Kasi may sagot ka sa Kanita. Pero Lancelot! Okay, 100% win rate, remember? For see you soon. Pabilisan lang talaga to ng kamay itong game number two, midnight. Naalala ko nung ano nung dumating si si Kyrie dito sa Pilipinas. Maraming birukbuk na naulan yan gamit Lancelot. Oh, so talagang pinang pinang sa sagot yung damage Lancelot laban dito kay Nolan. And it's really good kasi may kasama rin ng Angela. Ay ay pa lang si Angela. She probably uses a USB charging port. Okay. And not lightning. Ah, ay, ay, wala siya. Tama, tama naman. Saan niya nilalagay yung USB-C? Oh, sige, saan mo lang mo. I guess that's something that we no longer need to talk about. TMI, TMI, TMI. Pero ngayon, ha? Tsaka, sila nagtanggal ng kadya. Okay. Okay, okay. Very interesting. So, baka, hindi, hindi ako naniniwa lang. Bak si Angela to. Kay Kira to. So, baka iniisip nila, makuha nila yung Franco. Kaso may kadita kasi. Pwede rin naman yung Kufra. Pwede may kadita at... Nolan. Wala na lang. You know what? It's so nice to just, you know, listen to the thought process of Midnight. No, parang iniisip ko lang kung... Pwede actually yung Grok. Yeah. Ni Boxy. Kasi it's a decent versus the Kadita in a Pakito Man. Again, very basic for CU Soon. Kasi again, pag tinignan mo yung stats 
ni Triple Esports. Puro mukha ni Paquito eh. Pagkatabi yun, mukha ni Paquito at ni Fredrin. No joke. Pag tinignan mo yung Liquipedia, Paquito, Fredrin magkatabi lagi. Magkatabi yung mukha ni Paquito at ni Felix. Yun, specific. Very specific. Oo. Hindi ni Felix. Ni ano? Ni Sanji. Ah, ni Sanji. Ah, okay. Ni Sanji, ni Sanji. Sanji po lang sa ano. Minsan kasi ginagamit din ni Felix yan eh. Minsan. May paminsan-minsan. Tama na, tama naman. Pero, madalas Arlot siya eh. Oo, sa bagay. Sa bagay. Sanji, Sanji po to ng Triple Esports. Hindi po na... Ah, Ego Pro. Ah, Joe! May dalit na naman yung Joe ni Baxi. Sabi ko sa'yo eh, Baxi ni Ethan is in. Same. Okay. Okay. Ha? Thumbs pa rin. Oo. Post 4, full views, post 5 ka dito. Okay. Same idea yung Cho with the Grok kasi may immunity with Shunbo. Kaya mo face check. And yung catch, yun lang yung medyo hindi ko trip kasi mas reliable yung Grok, especially AOE and yung AOE spell yun. Pero yung kick dito magmamatter versus the Kadita kasi pwede mong sipahin bago magamit yung Rock Waves. And again, yung pick-up capability ng Siusun, yun talaga hinahanap nila. So they're looking for a marksman here. I think, Iksha, sounds nice, although may Kadita. Iksha Irtel, Brody okay lang din. Pero I'd rather go with the... Ik siya, sa totoo lang kasi yung range factor. Parang may problema yung Tribune Esports sa pag-abot ng backline. Pero you could still go for the Brody, no? Para may damage output ka and also good laner versus the Bruno. Final answer, final answer. Ik siya, Brody. Ik siya. Pag nag-irital dito, pindutin mo na, pindutin mo na. Layo, ah! And the answer is C. Nan of the above. Nan of the above. Pero ayos lang. Maybe it's like a decision that they wanna come up with. Late game investment per se. Kasi... Yun yung Mystic sa atin lang kanina. Oh, nabangkit naman natin kahapon na talagang Cloud Specialist ito si uh, Kusei. Si and Kusei. they understand the macro perspective of having a Cloud in this lineup. And medyo maintindihan mo rin kahit losing matchup versus the Bruno, siguro ganun talaga kalaki yung tiwala niya kay Ra. Sabi niya, Ra! Ikaw na bahala sa akin ha. Ikaw na to. Pag Lumazing do it ako, patong ka ha. Anjera mo na to. Oh, saksak mo yung USB-C. <laughs> saksak mo na, ilatag mo na. <laughs> Alam mo, feel ko may pinapatunayan si Siusun dito, specifically si Kosei. Pinapakita niya na walang late game, late game sa akin. Against Lahat ang late ads. game heroes. Kaya ko gawing early. Ano siya eh, parang ang uh, checklist ni Kosei dito para makapag-load. Laging, laging siyang Claude. Basta ang checklist niya lang, walang hard CC. Uh, kaya kong uh, mag, mag move around like nandun yung uh, maneuver, maneuver, uh, maneuverability kasi Fobis and Nola lang naman to and kailangan namin ng scaling damage as long as you can move di ba sabi nga uh, sa Madagascar I'd like to move it move it uh, and that is the same tapos, scenario na gusto nilang gawin si Kose yung the man who can be moved move. correct correct kasi wala ng CC that can stop him sabi Tama. nga ni Michael Moore and Ryan Lewis can't hold us hindi po ay pwedeng hindi mo siya pwedeng palagbagin kasi wala kang pangawak mismo. Tsaka yung kulot nito, sabi nga ni Freddie Mercury, can't stop us now. O, tapusin mo na. Parang daily top 10 to. O, tama. Ang dami nating hits na naririnig ngayon. Pero one thing for sure is magiging hit ang ating game number 2 with a fast-paced play of See You Soon and the objective-centricness of a triple esports. And going at the early game midnight, sino yung ina-expect mong malalamang dapat sa early game? Well, dito sa game na ito, dapat triple esports talaga. Having that kadita... Nolan, Bruno, alam mong lamang na lamang ang early game. Meron kang ways to deal with the Lancelot and of course the Arlot. And Cho with the Phobius na naka-flame shot. So in theory, yung early skirmishes for Triple Esports should go to their side unless maulit yung nangyari ng game number one na magamit na naman ng CU soon yung kanilang roam with the Cho for the vision. Tapos ma-amplify nila yung presence ni Lancelot dahil may pick-up capability sila. Yeah, the only problem is that wala, wala masyadong hard crowd control mula sa side ng Triple Esports. So, libre at posibleng makapag-engage ang si Yusun kung sakali na gusto nila na i-challenge or i-contest itong Lord or Turtle rather that will be appearing in nearly 30 seconds before the match. So, confident itong si MP The King na medyo lumipat-lipat doon sa ibang teritoryo ng kanilang mapa kasi alam niya na hindi naman siya malalagay sa alanganin. Parang nai-gets ko yung concept ng Triple Esports dito eh. Kasi binasa nila yung si Yusun, pinanood nila kahapon. Since kahapon, ang sinasabay sa si Yusun, mga heavy crowd control, in-overload din nila yung side nila. Pero ngayon, gusto nila burst potential. Sige, hindi natin sila kaya sabayin sa clash. Make sure natin, wala silang enough life para mag-clash. Uh, hybrid, gagawing hybrid ni MP Taking yung Lancelot niya, naka-Bloody Retribution. So, okay. he will build up the Warrocks first, tapos bibili siya nung uh, Molten Essence. And probably go for Thunderbird or Endless Battle, depending kung anong uh, man maging choice niya. Unless gusto, kailangan niya ng HP. Yep. So, okay. pwede rin naman uh, Thunderbird talaga yung mauna. Matang uh, action dito sa top lane. To secure a good position doon. As a turtle, pero ngayon, box si Naging talagang nagbubulo na. lang. Muntikan na. Makukuha ng purple buff doon kay Tarzan. Medyo challenging yun, ha? kasi hindi talaga niya ginamit yung Retribution. Pero Petrify gagamitin na rin. Flicker for box si Naging para makatak 
ka siya sa pagkaataw na yun. It's gonna be the turtle that's cut off to at least 60% of the health. Does MP the King live, and the rest MP? of the members are actually right over here. But 2 minutes and 30 seconds in, MP the King is already at level 6. Boxy the King is gonna be zoning them all out. Let's see you soon getting the first turtle of this fight and more. Sanji na babaligiran ng tatlong miembro dito ng side ng see you soon. And he might actually go down unless it's gonna be another retaliation and MP. Sorry, I'm Felix are still alive. See you soon getting a... Turtle and more. Wala na kuwang trade ang Triple Esports soon and see you soon. Pinapakita lang nila na all throughout the whole competition kaya ng kaya nilang or in favor sa kanila ang mga extended team clash for Triple Esports. They could have just at least let it slide pero see you soon. Hindi nila hinahayaan na Triple Esports magkuwa ng trade. And this is crazy kasi tina mo hindi man lang sumali si Kusaydon. And si Sano kalahati yung HP. Huy sabi ng siyo sabi na see you soon. Lakom ng pagkaya sa gold lane. Kaya ni Kusayan malaki nsa. And yung ginagawa ni Boxy dito again being a roamer, ginugulo niya lang yung jungler, even committing the kick, kasi walang fracture. Hindi niya magagamit yung burst combo niya, hindi niya rin mapapressure yung goat lane. And si Kusay, nakangiti na naman, kalawat kanan yung tenga niya, naabot ng bibig niya kasi walang pressure. Hindi masyado nila pinupuruan itong gold lane. And they can actually do that, kasi this is again a Bruno na pwede mong i-abuse yung Claude early on in the game. Pero I guess Triple Esports, they want to have more of objective playstyle. Kung may kaya silang kunin na resource or neutral objective, yun yung gusto nilang gawin. Yeah, and we're still waiting for that demonic force na nagagaling dito kay Coffin. Kasi in that first turtle fight, medyo hindi natin siya nakita. Kasi as soon as makuha ng SYS yung kanilang pinakaunang turtle sa lahat it's gonna be another kick na magagaling dito kay Boxy. Coffin finally unleashing the demonic force. is gonna be jumping all the way. Pero ngayon, si Boxy ang kanyang malalatagan. But still, they're still gonna be staying alive. Oh my goodness, and Coffin is gonna go down. Good balance. Ginagil nila yung demonic force para hindi mawala yung ibang mga members dun. Alam mo, Midnight, kapong ko po ito nakikita si Boxy the King kahapon. Nakajagamit niya. Hindi na nga siya nagbi-play ka rin. Naglalakad na lang siya for the Divine Judgment. Ngayon, naglakad na lang siya for the Way of the Dragon. Ibang klase yung mechanical skills na ito ni Boxy. Tsaka alam nila, itatouch ni ano ni Coffin yung Thorn Rose. Sabi ni Boxy, takik, sige, shushun po ako papunta doon sa tower. Pero, oh, no. oh, pinabalik niya. Oh, speaking of pinabalik, pinabalik nila. Si Sano sa base si and Boxy, they probably oh. just want more. Boxy is just trying to zone out Tarzan. Siya ang king of the jungle na kinakalaban ang king of the jungle. Ibang klase yung nararanasan nila ngayon. Show tries to for it as well and Boxy might just go down. It's finally a kill going off to the side of Triple Esports. But sorry, I'm Felix. is gonna be using that flicker MP. to be able to get out. Meanwhile, si Troll na napapalaban dito dahil oh, si MP the king ay lumalaban din. Tarzan, jungle to jungle violence. Demonic Force action. Sorry, I'm Felix. Gumamit na naman ang final slash and heart guard as well. Coffin, medyo nalalagay sa alanganin, pero si Ra, tara na! It's gonna be another one taken down by the side of SYS, 2K gold, and maybe a turtle. Nataali dun si Coffin, hindi na talaga nakatakas, and heads up play from Ra to make sure and ensure na hindi mamamatay si MP Takin kahit nag-overextend na sila ngayon, pero sorry, I'm Felix, talaga namang zone ng zone for CU soon. Zone kung zone, pero makakuha niya na walang iba ko di si Troll na in the zone. It's gonna be another person taking it as well, pero si Sano, sana makatakas pa, but still, there's he's actually gonna be the one to stay alive, pero si Kusain taking the brunt of the damage, Sano still able to protect it, but how long can he hold on? Nasaktan dun ha, partida, two on one, pero to Sana's credit naman, or to CU soon's credit, may tore doon, Midnight. Tsaka Bruno din yan eh, sabi, sabi ni Kusay, boss, boss, masakit, masakit. Sakit pa rin, sakit pa rin. Speaking of sakit, medyo nanonood. Yung damage para dito kay Troll. Just like that, now you see me, now you don't. MP the King is back at it again. Ito yung luxury na meron kang Angela. MP the King kaya nga niya mag-hybrid build. Nakita natin yung damage niya. Isang phantom execution kay Troll. Halos nag one for ka agad yung buhay, Midnight. Yeah, tsaka ang smooth talaga nung uh, paggamit dito ng season ng kanilang mga heroes. No? With uh, Lancelot, yung trust na nandun yung Angela, yung, uh, yung Arlot with the final slashes, and of course, Boxy the King forcing so many resources from Triple Esports. Yup, speaking of resource, sorry, and Felix, sa palibot dito, nagagamitan na siya, or nagamit niya na yung final slash, pero ginamitan din naman ni Angera ng kanyang heart guard, so still, makakatakas pa. Pero sa may ibang nalikuran, it's gonna be Boxy the King going down, pero si Troll, medyo hinihil ng konti. Will they stay alive? MP the King tumatakbo pabalik, pero hindi siya uuwi ng walang bawi. It's gonna be a turret taken down in exchange for a kill. May dinahanap pa siya turret, sabi niya, uy, ulo, uy, okay to ah, okay to ah. Uy, kulibing objective. Uy, okay, MP, hindi pa natapos. Hindi pa siya tapos kasi si Sano kanyang binabalik-balikan Nahubo! pero si Coffin medyo malalagay sa alanganin din at andun the money force dash na naman pero Coffin is gonna keep you down it's a phobious takedown para sa side ng Triple East Okay, this time around napasobra napalalim masyado yung CU soon and this does give the momentum 
back to Triple Esports kasi without the jungle pwede mag-dictate ng galaw ang Triple Esports kaya naman sa may top lane may nangyayaring action oh, oh tiga mo nangyayari na naman iba't ibang action gaya na sinabi mo sano sa na papaano it's actually gonna be the Bruno that's actually gonna go down Sanji medyo malalagay sa alanganin as well Boxy na gamit na yung Sipa Sorry and Felix medyo wala pang final slash pero lalaban pa rin naman na, nag-swimming na nag-swimming na si Troll kaso si Kusei pinaulan na siya ng bala at wala ka mapupuntahan sa pagkakataon na yun Cuffin at the same time dunkin and slash in pero sabi niya nakabox out kami vaccinated to see you soon getting another takedown vaccinated talaga ang ginawa doon ng see you soon pero hi ay heads up play doon kay sorry I'm Felix kasi nag-start yun sa final slash niya kay Saano na dinala talaga doon sa tore ng see you soon which resulted to Jose na hindi na natatakot ngayon pero may kick na naman na nagaganap dito for See you soon. At makakaisa sila doon. Sanji will fall down. Si Saano, tumatakbo na ngayon dahil see you soon wants to get this mid lane turret. Again, le let me just say, it's not just even about the final slash ni Arlot. I mean, it was a good play, pero naka-isolate kasi yung tank support ng Triple Esports. And guess what? Boxy the King! Sabi niya, ako ang tingnan nyo. Sa akin ang atensyon. Sa akin mag-focus na iwan yung Bruno. Yung Kadita, for the longest time, ang pinipetify niya, ang pinapatay niya is yung Cho. And that just means na yung buhay ni Kusey na naman. Galawat ka na naman ang tenga niya. Abot nung ano, bibig niya. Nakangiti na naman yung Claude. Oh, Tsaka, I mean, yung problem for Triple Esports ngayon, yung burst potential nila na Rough Waves Control, ginagamit niya pang pataka. So, nahihirapan talaga yung Triple Esports sa mag-burst down. Oo, oh, minsan maganda yung posisyon ni Sano, pero they need the extra damage to burst down. Even uh, just Boxy the King, hindi nga sila nadadalian i-take down itong show na to. Kaya naman nakakapag-face check all throughout the game. Pero ngayon, see you soon. They're looking to extend their push. Bottom lane na top lane, they're applying pressure. Slowly but surely, nakukuha nila ang kanilang gusto. Roll, 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 roll. Naman. It's actually gonna be a petrify na hindi pa naman makukumit. Pero yung rough waves ay nagamit na rin. So that's an ultimate that's been utilized by Chepo. Ang lupit ni Troll doon. Hindi na pinetrify, by the way. Pinors na lang yung Fury. That was close. That was Sabi close. ni Kusay, ay, hindi na petri, boss. Hindi na petri. Napindot ko, boss. Napindot ko. And in 40 seconds, sabi nila, hindi naman lang kasi ay, kailangan. Na. Dito natin gamitin yung petrify. Pero si MP lang kayong medyo mawawala ba? And that's gonna be the question na masasagot ng Chepo. Let's the oh, Lancelot going down. Felix! Kusay! So, Kusay! Troll goes down as well. Kusay nagpaulan ng bala. It's gonna be Kafi na gagamit na naman ng demonic force. Pero si Sorry and Felix ay buhay pa rin. Sanji lalaban na rin. Kafi nandito pa rin. And that's the rest of the members of CU soon that's doing their very best para makapalag. Pero hindi. Hindi pa rin. Yung moment na akala na nasana natin na triple esports makakabawi doon. See you soon. Sorry, I'm Felix. Pati na rin si Kusay gumawa ng play of their own to make sure to even out the score. 3-4-3 three, three doon. Pero for sure, lamang na lamang yung see you soon. And as the first Lord responds, triple esports, they need to control their minion wave para makakontest man lang dito sa Lord na to. Ang ganda ng attempt din ng uh, see you soon na i-counterbalance yung pag-pick up dito kay uh, Lancelot. Unfortunately, they were under the tower at that point. And saktong-sakta pag-BMI ni uh, Claude with the Blazing Duet. Nginat-ngat siya ng thumbs. And medyo masakit din talaga yan knowing na nakaka-cross yung site. Ang bilis na duck speed. And of course, with the blade armor, hindi pwedeng palagan ni uh, Claude si Sanji dito ng 1v1 kasi mararamdaman niya rin yung return damage. Hindi ko alam ba't may tumuhol dito. Wala namang aso dito. So right now, see you soon. Eh. Nginat-ngat nga nila itong si, si Sanji. So far, nahihirapan na naman gumalaw ang triple esports to so their usual Boxy. aggressive objective-centricness. And see you soon. Grabe yung pag-zoom dito ni Boxy. Halos hindi na nga nagbubush. Eh. Nagpapakita na mismo eh. Men si Boxy nang ma-box out literal. Hindi ko na alam kung ano pa kailangan ko sabihin dito. Oh! Oh! Just like that, nawala rin siya sa face of the earth or aka face of the land of dawn. Dahil nabalaban na naman sila dito. And sorry yung Phoenix na nakapalibot doon sa dalawang membro ng side ng triple. Pero sabi nila triple time. Oh, Dahil sa ganun na natin to. It's gonna be the rest of the members trying to fight as well. Sanji na lalatagan ng phantom execution. And he's might just be executed. Gin ginamit na lahat sa kanya. At wala na siyang ibubuga pa. It's Sanji oh, down man. for at least 26 seconds. And it's see you soon na nakapalibot sa Lord. Hindi ko alam kung napansin nyo yung ginawa doon ni Boxy the King. Pero yeah. nang nag-demonic for si Coffin. Sakto! Hibig niya kagad. Ang bilis ng ultra instinct niya. This is a good roamer. Hindi to tank midnight. Pure roamer to. Kasi he can initiate. He can zone out. Pero most importantly, he can protect their win condition which is Kosei. Yeah, and, uh, ang, ang, ang ganda rin ng layering ng spells sa totoo lang ng CUSO dito, yung final slash din sa may ibad ng dulo ng teamfight na yun. It's secured that Triple Esports could not reinitiate again. And si Tarzan dito, hindi siya makaharap ng angle talaga na makapasok. Maburst doon yung mga targets niya. Knowing din na may Angela, ang hirap na rin yan for Nolan. That's, uh, that's his number one problem. And second of all, yung mga gusto niyang, uh, yung mga gusto niyang patayin dito, no, pinoprotektahan ni Sorry I'm Felix with those final slashes, yung displacement factor, hindi ka kasi basta-basta makakalapit talaga if you're uh, Triple Esports.
This time around, see you soon. They're controlling the push. Merong Lord na paparating doon sa bottom lane at si MP Takin nananahi na nga dito. Pumirma na. Pinirmahan yung ano, Triple Esports. He wants to leave a mark ngayon with a 2-0 pero ito na yung final slash. Hindi naman pala kailangan pumirma kasi kailangan i-check mo lang. Inekis na rin itong si you soon and that is gonna be another Triple Esports takedown. Wala itong si Kapin. Napapalaban na lang ang Triple sa pagkaataw na to. Oh, that is going to be another problem as well. Si Baxi is still in the middle of the run. Cut off to at least 20% of the health. Jose! Sanji is still in the middle of the run. But Kusei is still in the middle of the run. And Kusei actually goes down. And here in the middle of the run, they will not lose. This is Sano. Troll is just going to be here. And with them, si Sanji is here. It's going to be 4 v 2 with the minions on their side. What can they do? It might just be sorry and Felix. But he said it is too late MP, to MP. apologize. As they want to go for the extra kill. But I see what they're going to do. And Baxi the King actually goes down. Shepul Esports with another triple time tactic. That is Kapin, sorry, Kapin. Felix. Na wala rin. MP the King, the only one alive. Kasama niya si Rana, maka heart guard pa. And Ra, MP retreats. See you soon. Fails to finish the game as triple is still alive. Ito na yung time na sinasabi natin na hindi in favor sa kanilang extended clash. They got the objectives na. Two inhibitor turrets taken down. Nakaisa na rin sila kay Saano. Pati na rin doon kay Troll. Pero this time with the absence of Kosei, nahirapan talaga sila mag-deshout ng damage. Yeah. That's why heads-up play there from Sanji. Despite the beautiful uh, final slash from, sorry, I'm Felix, Triple Esports, pinapakita na kaya pa namin lumaban ngayon. Eh. Ang, bilis, ang bilis na matay ng Claude, especially with the Blade Armor and the uh, Vengeance coming up from the Thames. Pero na-exciting kasi yung season. They thought they could finish and wala silang minions at the time and napahirapan yung mga heroes na mag-back away dito dahil puro sila dashes and that is where the phobius of Coffin shown for Triple Esports. So, see you soon. They really have to uh, end this game with a clean approach in a team fight. And yung pag take down kay Kusay dito, kailangan niya ingatan yung kanyang positioning versus the stamps. Kasi kapag sinalo ni Sanji lahat, yung Blade Armor Vengeance damage reflection, nararamdaman niya talaga. At nakasalalay. The person that you see on your screens right now, sorry, I'm Felix, yung clean at malinis na execution. Final slash na latag sa posibleng tatlo or apat na miyembro ang posibleng magsalba sa side ng Triple, or sa side na see you soon dito. Meanwhile, Triple Esports, you have at least the burst damage output. You have Coffin on your side as well that could potentially leak down yung mga nasa back lines. And the fact na sobrang daming dashes ng side ng CU soon, posible nyo magawa yan. But the problem is, the two inhib inhibitors are out at kuha troll, na rin troll, ng CU soon. Unless may mga ano naman kakaiba dito. Pero hindi ganun ang mangyayari. Because Sanji na paggamit ng Kota ng Inferno. At nandito si Coffin sa may madali. Tarzan! 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 Sabi nila, sige, unahin na natin Tarzan! yung mga backline access. Backstage pass pa ang gusto nyo. Backstage access ang ibibigay namin sa inyo. Coffin with another demonic force. Kontra sa apat. Sano, Sanji watching their team. Dias Kosei wants to go for the action Boxy. as well. And Sano, nothing left to do. Paano? Paano natin de-depensahan to? Sanji and Triple versus the world as see you soon is trying to burst them down. Pero wala pang minions. Naghihintay sila ng pagkakataon. Sanji na lang ang natitira para sa Triple Esports to defend. Pero parang si Yusu na ata ang manalo dito ngayon. And that's gonna be the kick that will put the end to this game. It's see you soon keeping their streak alive in M5. See you soon, proving that they are an emerging region. Hindi lang bala emerging. Nandito na sila to compete. Kaya ng kaya nila makipagsabayan. And in the group A, they are standing tall. Kasabay ng Onik ID. See you soon's aggressiveness play style. Pati na rin yung determination nila sa kanilang hero pool. Pati yung tiwala nila sa isat isa, especially with Ras Angela, proves superior. Na kaya ng kaya nila makipagsabayan sa M5 World Stage. You gotta be speechless after that fight, man. Like the layering of spells, the control, Iba. the trust, the mechanics. Pinirmahan ni MP the King yung entirety ng lineup ng Triple Esports. Hinawi pa balik, sinundu sa airport. Kinit na pa yung pobis kanina. Wag naman. Wag naman. <laughs> Pero chine. Sina pa sa Bob Kapi. Sina pa sina pa. Dinala sa ano? Dinala sa ano? Dinala sa Cambodia pa balik. And hindi ko na alam. Nakakabaliw pa noorin yung ganito kasi nandoon yung chemistry and i'll be honest out of the teams that we watched in m5 this has got to be the most synergized team we've ever seen Cha electrifying napaka electrifying ng kanila mga plays i think medyo yung nang hinayang ako sa side ng uh, uh, triple esports is the fact na nagawa nila yung gusto nilang gawin in the later portions kaso yung problema 
the damage just wasn't there. Napakalinis, napakatalino din talaga na pinakita ng SYSK naman. Smart is still the Philippines' best mobile network, having the fastest network and the nationwide's coverage in the country, as awarded by UCLA of Speed Test Intelligence Data for speed and coverage Q1 to Q2 2023. You can also enjoy the power of Smart when you switch to Smart without changing your number via the mobile number portability or MNP. Visit smart.ph slash switch to smart to know more. Grabe, sobrang fast ng ating game number two. Kaya naman, hindi na ako sigurado kung sino yung pwedeng maging MVP. Ako din, It MP. was such a team effort. MP or Boxy? Ah, well, well, well. Don't forget about Ra. Siyempre, Angera yan eh. Yung Angera. tiwala eh, no? Yung tiwala kay Angera. Grabe din talaga yung, ano, yung presence of mind to keep your teammates alive. He basically uh, gave life to see you soon. It allowed MP the King to play his Lancelot. Allowed, uh, you know, uh, sorry, Felix to just be a, uh, you know, be a threat in the front line with the final slashes. Uh, even though si uh, Kusay dito medyo nahirapan sa maglaro ng Claude. Again, naitala nila, naitawid nila yung Claude towards that late game. But man, I just have to say, this didn't come down to the, uh, you know, to the draft factor or to the gold lane factor, yung pag skill late game. This came down to how See You Soon used all their spells. Tsaka sa dami-daming spells na ginamit nila, sobrang action pack ng ating game. Kaya naman, well-deserved pa rin for our unsung hero, Ra. <laughs> He always made sure na yung mga moments na mamatay mga kampi niya, nandun siya eh. Pinatay ni Claudius sa sarili niya. <laughs> Binacing to it na yung, yung Tamus. Nag-Vengeance Blade Arbo. Oh, medyo... Hindi yun kasalanan ni Ra. Oh, may... <laughs> Hindi kasalanan ni Ra. Hindi kasalanan ni Kusay. Ang lupit ni Sanji dun. Matindi. Matindi yung press na yun. And kahit pa paano, we, we start to see yung mga mechanical, pra yung mechanical prowess din ng kupunan ng Triple Esports because there were moments where they were actually Ito outplaying rin, no? them in specific team oh. fights, right? Ito Nagda yun. Nagda as soon as nagpaula ng bala si Kusay. <laughs> sabi ni Sanji, akin yan! Hold, sabi ni Sanji, hold my vengeance. <laughs> At pinindot, at doon, nakalimot, <laughs> si Jose. Yung, medyo sadista eh, no? Oh. <laughs> medyo sadista. Ako! Buma, ako parilin mo! Bumabanda eh. Bumabanda. Pero ayos lang, kasi ang mahalaga, usually nga we don't get to see Claude picked up in this kind of composition. Dahil sa sobrang tinde ng early game damage na dapat sana meron ng CU soon. Pero iba ang tiwala ni Kusay sa mga teammates. Iba talaga tiwala nila. The spot, the fight na kalaban nila Bruno, hindi nahirapan si Kusay. And ika nga ni Midnight, talagang pinapabayaan si Kusay mag-isa. Kaya naman nakakarotate ang SYS. But looking at the emblem builds Midnight, meron ba ulit kakaibang napapansin dito sa ating game number two? Well, ang gusto ko lang i-highlight dito actually yung, uh, yung kay Angela, yung uh, pull yourself to, uh, together dito. Ay, yung uh, focusing mark. Again, uh, it adds uh, their off damage. Kung sino man yung uh, madidikitan ng tali, ma yung uh, mahihil sa kalaban. Of course, yung uh, Inspire pa sa Bargain Hunter, talagang napapabilis lahat. E anything na kailangan ni Ra dito, mapapabilis yung cooldown nandyan, yung uh, pag -tag -tag ng, uh, ay, pagbawas ng 5% sa item. I mean, uh, at some point, yeah. medyo mapapabilis din naman talaga yung game mo kasi very crucial yung mga item pickups ni Angela dito. Especially when the Flask of the Waste came out, literal na talagang pinubuhay niya kung sino man yung masasaniban ng hard guard. So, it allowed, again, See you soon to, to have this incredible momentum in the mid game. Kaya naman na itawit nila si Claude, but again, I just have to say, yung pag utilize nila ng hero talaga dito, yung, uh, yung naging uh, recipe or yung uh, ano magita, tema. Tema. Ng, uh, tama, see tama. you soon dito tama. against Triple Esports. And now for the rich guy, MP the King pa rin. Kanina nakita natin na siya yung pay it forward. But look at the damage taken, Hans. The Vengeance Master, <laughs> Sanji. <laughs> Kaya pala namatay dalawang beses si Kose. Legit, siya ang dahilan. Anong carry-carry? Piratay ko yan. Sandbag is the way. <laughs> Sandbag is the way. Oh, damage din. Sanji din. Oh, damage Sanji din. Sanji din. Oh. <laughs> Anis. Ansabe. Partita, siguro. Yung 20k dyan, galing kay Claude. Galing kay Claude. Pero kahit na, even so, kita natin that there are some sites of potential coming in from Triple Esports na in terms of team fights, kaya nilang pumalag pagdating sa late game portion. Like, kailangan lang talaga nilang i-figure out yon sa una pa lang, I guess. That, that's the most important part. Kasi kung, kung mauunahan kayo, especially with the lineup that you have, you have the Nolan, you have the Bruno, you have the Thumbs, and hindi mo may execute yun na maayos, it's gonna be difficult for you. At tignan natin yung MVP. Total team heal, well-deserved for the unsung hero. Ra, talaga namang, agree ako with Hans na 